Hi guys and welcome to another video. Before we start this video, I just want to give a huge shout out to all my new Patreons. Emma, Amanda, Johan, Christian, Erling, Andreas and Jesper. Thank you guys so much for supporting the channel. Also, don't forget all of my Patreons. You can still vote for the Patreons choice video of this month. Right now we have a tie for the first place, so every vote you give, it might make a difference. If you guys are not already but you would like to become Patreons for my channel, I'll leave you a link down below in the description. Liking and subscribing of course helps the channel a lot, so thank you guys for that too. For this reaction video I looked for a playlist with official song, something that it's a bit more official. I could not find any, maybe I wasn't looking in the right places. But I did find this channel called Athenix and they, he or she, uploaded the nine songs there. From what I saw, they're also like lyric videos, so that should be interesting. I'm really expecting from Israel 2021 something a little bit more ethnical, kind of like what they sent in 2020. No more talking, let's get into it. The first song. Full disclosure guys, I did start listening to the first song and then I realized it's a male voice and then I was like, what? This is definitely not her. And I've learned meanwhile that the nine songs are actually just demos. So I'm trying to keep myself from knowing anything about the songs. I don't want to know who's the favorite, who people like or anything. I don't want to be influenced in any way because of that I don't know some of the most important things. That being said, I'm still gonna be listening to all of the songs. I will just not say that they're sang by Eden. I'm just gonna say that it's Israel 2021. And I'm gonna see which one I like the most. Here we go with Flying. Israel 2021, one of the candidates. I was dreaming of a play. The first song, I have to say, it is different than what I was expecting. I like the fact that it's very gospel -y. I like those vibes a lot. It's very hard for me right now to translate it into a female voice. I feel like this song was written for a male voice, or at least it sounds very well with this voice. I don't know who's singing it. I do feel that this might have a little bit of an advantage. I don't think there will be too many gospel -y songs in Eurovision, except for maybe the Mamas. At the same time, you do hear a lot of voices in the background, which obviously is supposed to be the choir. That might be an upside or a downside, depending on how the fans see the fact that the backing vocalist this year can do playback. Overall, the sound just gives me a very nice feeling. Everything seems very smooth. It did make me sing along, which is always a good thing. I don't think it was too repetitive, but at the same time, I do see the same patterns in the song. I do think this song might stand out because of the gospel vibes, but at the same time is way too vanilla compared to Israel 2020. And right now is literally just a game of expectations and I feel like this is gonna happen with me with a lot of the artists this year. I will compare them a lot to what they prepared for last year. I was dreaming of a place, place with no fear, full of rain. And I'm ready for the second song, 
second song is called Set Me Free. Let's see if this is a male or a female vocalist. This song is not necessarily bad, it's kind of cute, but definitely does not get me up there. It doesn't say Eurovision to me, it doesn't say like a song festival, it's just like another radio friendly a track that I would play in the background. Also, I do feel like this one was a lot more repetitive than the previous one. And for a song that was called Set Me Free, I did not get that vibe. I did like though every time when the song switched to the, the something, I'm not even sure if that was like ethnical, it was just different than what it was before. I quite liked that. I wish it was a little bit stronger. The voice of the girl was also very cute, uh, definitely she was not prepared for the high note, so this is definitely a demo. Overall, based just on the demo, I would say that this song is a pass for me. And again, just to make it clear, it's not that I don't necessarily like the song, I just feel like it would not stand out. Of course, the way I'm talking right now is just based on what I've heard from Albania. This song cannot compare with the songs from Albania, and that's the way I'm gonna do the comparisons at this point. Still waiting for something closer to Fekir Libi. I know it's unfair, obviously, you can have different songs at this point, but I just want something to give me that vibe. That was really cool. The third song that I see right now is Rise Up Today, which apparently is gonna be another uplifting song. Out of the two of them, none of them were yet ballads. We do know that Israel does like some powerful ballads every now and then. But then again, they also like toy, so here we go, rise up today. This song sounded, again, it's one of those songs that just sounds very nice, very cute. I'm not sure if this is because they're demo songs. I'm not very well prepared to listen to demo songs. I can tell you that I totally love the voice of the girl that was singing this, but that's not important because she's not gonna be the one performing the song. I did notice that from the text point of view, it is getting a lot more similar to Fake LDB. I liked that a lot. I also have to say that from all the lyrics up until now, these are my favorite lyrics. They're a little bit deeper. I like that. It kind of like makes you pay attention and actually listen to what she's singing. It's not just about let's dance, let's move. I always appreciate that in music. Yeah. 
On the other hand, I have to be completely honest, towards the end of the song, I kind of got a little bit bored, probably I even like went out in my own world in my mind, the song just became again like just a soundtrack. There have been three songs, all three of them cute and nice, I honestly cannot say I do not like them, like th th there is nothing not to like. The problem is there's nothing right now that made me go, oh yeah this is the one. I don't have that yet. But we still have six more songs. The fourth song is called Coming Out, I feel like might be relatable to many of us. Again, I cannot say let's listen to her, because I'm not sure if it's gonna be a her or a he or they, I don't know, I've never listened to demo songs pre-Eurovision except for the Romanian version, which usually would be the same artist singing it. This is actually a very interesting experience for me because I'm trying to imagine Eden singing the songs and I'm quite failing at this point, I'm not good at it. So I'm just basing everything on what I hear. Here we go, coming out. Well, this was quite an experience, this song. It, it is extremely cliche and music-wise, and then the lyrics are just terrible. Like, if I would be listening to this with Lauren, you know that she pays attention to the lyrics a lot. I, I think we would both agree the lyrics are not the best. Most of it doesn't even make sense, it's just like a bunch of expressions in English that it just pushed together. The music at some point even breaks into what I think was a saxophone, if I remember correctly. That is a little bit 2010-ish. I don't know, again, it's not a song that I can say I hate it, but it's a song that would just be somewhere in a background at a party when people would not yet be dancing, they would just be like drinking and chatting. Th this, is, this is what this song gives me right now. Come on, Israel, you can do a lot better than this. I feel like all these four songs went for something that sounds very commercial for some reason. Like, why? You had Fekka Libi and now this is what we're getting. Five more songs, we're halfway there almost. I really, really hope something awesome is gonna come up. The next song is Can't Stop a Hurricane and it has hurricane in it. It better be good, it better have some freaking musical hurricane in it because all the other songs were so radio friendly let's call them which probably is not a bad thing but this is not what I want this is not what I was expecting please have music and lyrics and bring something a little bit of spice in it Catch a moment and don't let it go. Hold it 
closer than you've done before It's a thousand miles and a day away from home Oh, grown up, but I'm still a child I can tell you this song was not necessarily a hurricane, but the winds were pretty strong, especially towards the end. The beginning of the song uh, scared me. I honestly thought it was going to be again, just like the other songs. And I hope that they can kind of get rid of the first half. They, they could keep like maybe the first 30 to 40 seconds. But let's get a lot faster into the chorus. The chorus is really good. I like the switch into it. As I said, it's not really a hurricane, but it's really good. I like the end part a lot. Again, I'm not gonna get the ethno vibes, but I'll get what I can. At this point, this song I feel is the strongest if they do some changes in the beginning of the song. Yeah, right, right now I, I'm on the fence on deciding exactly which one I like the most. I do like the chorus on this one a lot, at the same time I still remember the first song I think the most from all of them. And I'm ready to move on to the next song called Shoulders. At this point for some reason I just hope that at least one of the songs will not be in English, I just need something different. Let's go with shoulders. Definitely this song stands out from all the others up until this point. It did bring me lyrics that were not in English, kind of something that I wanted. It did give me something more traditional, a little bit. I quite like that. I would have preferred to be a little bit more of that. I have also to admit that the first seconds of the song kind of grabbed me, like the lyrics were interesting, I was curious where it goes. It does tell a story, it's not just random gibberish and thrown in there, but at some point it kind of becomes a little bit of gibberish. I do like a lot of switch to na na na, that, that's pretty cool. Also I feel like this song gives potential for a show which the other songs I don't think did that up until now. 
So on, on this one, I could actually imagine the stage happening on Eurovision. With all the others, I could not do that. This song right now is my favorite from the group. This song definitely added the salt and the pepper that I needed. It's not quite yet to the spicy chili, but we are getting there and I feel like th this one has the potential to become a very good chili dish. The next song is Ue La La. So I am expecting this one to be fun. I really hope it's gonna be fun. The title is fun. Please be fun. If it's another radio friendly song, I'm gonna go insane. Okay, the first thing I've noticed at the end of the song is that this song is way shorter than I was expecting. It's not even close to three minutes. On the other hand, finally, yes, I love this one. This is not like the others. This one will stand out. This one has the potential for a great show, great staging. I'm just curious how the voice switch is going to happen. This one made me move. It made me laugh. It made me want to sing along. At the same time, I really want to listen to it. It is cool. The lyrics are fun. I am so happy I called it ahead of time based on the title, it's gonna be a fun song. It needs to be longer, obviously, but th there is a lot more space to add. It's a lot, e I think it's a lot easier to add stuff in than to remove them. I do think right now this song has the potential to do really well in Eurovision. This also depends on how far Israel will go with the staging this year. But the song gives the potential, like there is no way you can mess this one up. In the end I can say I love this one. This one has flavor, it's good, it's very good. Alright, the next song is called La La Love. So whoever wrote this song, either they're not Eurovision fans or they're very sneaky, they just want to grab some attention from the very beginning. It has my attention, so let's see how it does. So this La La Love is definitely different than Cypress's La La Love. Again, it is a very fun song, probably also the visuals helped a lot, but it does not strike me as a winner. I like the way the chorus goes. It, it is still like popish, but it's interesting. Like, I like it. It makes me want to move. I do like the integration of Hebrew names or words in it. I, I do not speak the language, I just like the way it sounds. Take 
I do feel at this point that something is missing. Again, I keep forgetting these are demos, so I'm totally gonna change my mind afterwards when I'm gonna hear the, the actual versions of the songs. But up until now, I do prefer the other Lala song, the Ue Lala. A, a very good thing about this song is it does stop exactly when I started losing interest. So at the point when I was thinking, okay, now now it can end, it actually ended. So th that's good, it's not too long. Some of the other songs to me fell way too long. We do have one more song left, and it is called Spilling Magic. The one thing, well, I mean, a lot of things we did not have in this selection of songs, but the one thing that I'm totally missing is a song with very strong lyrics. Like, you know, you guys sent us Milim, so please, please, this one song to be like that. I really doubt it. I kind of saw a pattern in all these songs. The songwriters, I feel, for all of these, just try to like cash out on the idea of party, let's just party. But I don't think like it's enough, especially now in Eurovision, it needs to have something more. It cannot be just a generic bop. Oh my god, how much I hate that word. Let's see if this song is gonna spill any magic. Let's just make it clear from the very beginning, I'm gonna skip over the fact that they misspelled the word wonderful. In the beginning I thought it's just like a prophecy, I just guessed it, it's gonna be like one of these very slow powerful ballads. It's still pretty cool, again it's very uplifting, I do feel that it's the same girl singing, uh, in some of the songs at least. This one sounded a bit more Disney-ish, but I do feel that it's not gonna be the same when they're gonna switch voices. If the plan is to go with something a little bit more heartfelt, I do think this is the song to pick. But if the idea is to go with something funny, I still keep my I still have my mind on Ue La La. On this one also I really liked the music part. Uh, the instrumental is really good and I think that with some tweaks it can be really awesome. Definitely not a boring song. It, it did grab my attention and I did want to sing along, I did want to listen to it. As I did say, it does need a little bit of changes here and there just to make it pop out a little bit more. But yeah, this, this one would get a thumbs up for me. I 
I do think right now for me it's too hard to make an actual top. I need to hear to the actual official versions of the songs with the right vocals. It's gonna be very different, I'm sure, already. Israel does do revamps, some pretty good revamps every now and then. But I will name you four songs that actually got stuck to my mind, so I feel like these four songs somehow are very noticeable. Those are Flying, Shoulders, Uelala, and Spilling Magic. I feel like these songs somehow could have an impact on a longer playlist. All of the others, they would just get lost. Like, I cannot see, even with revamps, I cannot see how you could make those songs more interesting. Unless you totally change the melody of those specific songs, I don't see them even going into a final. I do indeed have a favorite up until now, if, if it wasn't clear during the whole video. I do like Uelala, actually I like it so much that I want to listen to it again. And this is actually quite strange because I always go for a good ballad. I don't feel like they have a strong, deep ballad in this selection though. Spilling Magic is the closest to something like that, but even this turns into something uplifting and, as I said before, a little bit Disney-ish, but also that feeling comes mostly from the girl's voice. Anyway, this was my opinion about the 9 songs. What do you guys think? I'm sure you're not gonna agree with me. I mean, no one ever agrees with me. Overall, I do feel that the songs that they have right now are a little bit too vanilla. They need a bit more oomph to them. Also, to be honest, I'm surprised that the selection is not a bit more diverse. It seems like all the songs went the same direction. Even those that had the chance to be like deep meaningful, even they turn out to be something else when they hit the chorus. I'm not sure if it was a request, if that's what like it was like a rule, let's write a song that is just like uplifting and party-like and makes you want to move. That might be a thing too, maybe they did want to go for that. But personally, I would have preferred a mix just to have something from here and something from there. It seems like the big bubble was all in the same category. Thank you guys for watching. I hope I wasn't too mean to these songs. I do tend to be very mean every now and then, so I'm sorry, but that, that, that would be my first reaction to the song. If I did manage to annoy you, please let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in a future video.